Hi, it's Tyrone from TyroneShum.com and welcome to the dedicated channel where I help you learn about outsourcing, automation and also design the lifestyle that you desire. Well, in this tutorial or in this video today, I want to actually share with you something really, really exciting. And I've gone and found some really, really high profile bloggers, lifestyle entrepreneurs and people who I think are very successful in creating the lifestyle. And the lifestyle I'm talking about is having a successful online business and also having a, a, working only a few hours a week and enjoying life, doing the activities they enjoy, having a fun time and also just spending time with family or things that they enjoy doing. So what I wanted to share with you today is I've contacted them and I've got some information about them whether or not be contacted them via email, uh, via Facebook or Twitter and also they've replied back to me with a text or written document or video or audio and I've got them listed out right here right now for you so just feel free to watch this rest of the presentation and also enjoy what I've presented here for you and take away some really really key insights to the question that I've asked them which is what is the key to creating the lifestyle that you currently live today? And there's a powerful question and also powerful answers that go with this. And you can take away this to be able to learn, okay, how can you do it for yourself and also set up an online business to do the lifestyle or to create the lifestyle that you want, which is, I hope, what you're trying to achieve and that's the reason why you continue to read my blog. So anyway, without further ado, I want to show you this presentation of all of these really successful people who have who I've compiled back together to give you all this really, really cool stuff. So enjoy the presentation and I'll see you soon. 10 Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Exposed from the Core The list here that's provided is all done in alphabetical order. So let's get moving on to it. The first person is Adam Baker and he's the blog and founder of Man vs. Debt. He's the man behind the flawless financial management teaching people to say no to debts. He was able to reach his target himself paying off his debts by 100% and eliminating the clutter to live a happier and effective lifestyle. So Adam's also a contented husband and father enjoying traveling all over the world. So what's the key to Adam's success in creating the lifestyle he lives today? If he had to boil it down, these are the three things he says. Firstly is to dodge and focus to live a deliberately aka to choose passions, purpose and work. Willingness to be flexible and, fl and sacrifice and also surrounding with supportive community and inspiring mentors. Meet the next person. This is Chris Ducker and Chris Ducker is from the blog of Virtual Business Lifestyle. Now I've met Chris and also he's one of the greatest people that I know in the outsourcing industry. Though what made him different is he's actually in the Philippines. Chris is the owner and CEO of Live to Sell group of companies located in Cebu managing over 220 virtual staff. With that amount of people in the workforce, Chris's biggest challenge to take on this year is to become their virtual CEO overseeing his company. Now what's the reason and also how does Chris live the lifestyle he lives today? In fact, he says it's the delegation of tasks. Also hiring mid-level managers and coordinating with them and them only and focusing more on growth plans, business strategies and developing relationships with existing and good quality prospective clients. The next person on the list is Corbett Barr. Corbett Barr is from Think Traffic. Now, Corbett Gar Gar Barr sorry, is one of the coolest traffic guys who has achieved his greatest lifestyle in contrast to other lifestyle entrepreneurs because he's always believed in the fruits of hard work. As he enjoys doing business, working on it full time, and he says it's just simply amazing. He also says to me he very much appreciates that when he says ruthless focus on your efforts on those things that work and stop spending precious time on things that don't. So what's the key to Corbett's lifestyle design today? This might sound corny but the key to living his current lifestyle has been to simply believe it's possible and to work hard to achieve it. The thing is success is much more hard work than talent or luck. Emphasized on this, he says, most people aren't willing to put in the effort necessary to make their ideal lifestyles possible, which means there's not much competition for those who want to commit to spending several years pursuing his dreams. All right, the next person on this is Gideon Shawick from GideonShawick.com. Now, Gideon Shawick wouldn't miss this list as he's not only a famous for being an expert at video blocking and succeeding in it, 
Gideon is also lined up with a very, very few entrepreneurs who have unveiled and understood the power of hedgehog concept in achieving the lifestyle they wanted. So Gideon as he appears happy in all his videos is definitely showing how he finds his living better now by learning this concept and applying it to his real life. Alright, so this is what Gideon says and this is how he lives his lifestyle. He applies the hedgehog concept and this is what it is, a way to figure out what it is that you're supposed to be doing with your life and with your business. He also says knowing what he's truly passionate about, which skill can be utilized to get ahead in the market and how those two could help him earn money and also focusing on only those two things. The next person I want to introduce you to is Glenn Alsop from Vipachul, a really cool blog there that I recommend you check it out. But he's not only done that also too, he's also achieved a tremendous amount of readers from his website since he started out but also that he's also a kid blogger who started from scratch and now traveling across the globe through affiliate promotions and other passive sources. Interestingly enough, what he got more is knowing that Glenn already achieved his preferred lifestyle over a span of five years working online just enjoying what he loved doing. That's amazing, isn't it? Alright, so what's Glenn's lifestyle and also how did he achieve it? Firstly, he says knowing the minimum amount of resources he can get by on, determining the few tasks which are most important to complete and making sure if he cuts any core element in the business, he'll know how it affects everything. The next one I want to introduce you is a fellow Aussie, James Ranko. He's from Internet Marketing Speed. James could also line up entrepreneurs who have created numerous businesses but stays focused and hands off on things. By running over 30 domains in other businesses, James managed to automate all these and scale it to more profitable systems to sell through outsourcing. He's got virtual staff from almost all over the world and it's kept him going and enjoying the lifestyle he's at today. So how has James done it? He's learned from the benefits of affiliate marketing and applied that and he's built lots of websites selling software and he's very, very good at it. He says, always focusing on buyers to be able to lock in that sort of profit, adding services, price levels and so forth. And also knowing how to sell effectively to the audience. The next person on the list is Marin Kate. Marin Kate is from Escaping the 9 to 5 and she says to me, she's ridiculously stubborn as she describes herself and this personal brand that Marin has developed made her achieve success at the early ages of her online business. She admits to me that she's a starter but it didn't take her back from the scratch where she's been through. What's got her to move on again is to learning through everything online and being able to outsource. That way she puts more focus on important things one at a time and makes it scalable. Marin also enjoys working full time on a business while still having the chance to enjoy her hobbies at the same time. So how has Marin been able to achieve the lifestyle she lives by today? Firstly, she said building a personal brand that will get you noticed by the public is important. Continue to learn from different people, different resources online and because most of them are free, you can actually get all this learning. Also, lastly, she mentions outsource and delegate things to focus on core concepts of the business which makes it much easier and scaling up to 100%. Pat Flynn is my buddy. He's an amazing story here. And he's from the Smart Passive Income. Now, Pat never intended to let the audience know what he's talking about out there. But while his first blog served as a hub of his daily reminders and what he's gone through to pass the lead exam, that actually connected him with the buyers who got stuck at his write-ups and willing to buy anything from him to pass the test. No doubt, Pat has really got this amazing talent in writing to sell. So it's definitely worth the list achieving the successful lifestyle that he's got today. So how does Pat live the lifestyle that he lives today? All right, let's, there's a few points here. He says to me, focusing by putting himself under pressure. Pressure makes diamonds as he quotes from General George Patton. He also says, throughout my life, I've always done my best work while I was under some kind of pressure. For example, while in school, playing sports and obviously after I was laid off. The pressure gives me laser-like focus, takes away all distractions, forces me to take action and helps me to be confident in the decisions that I make. His next part that he says is taking bold actions. Next one is also standing out. That really is a key about Pat. He really tries to make himself different from the crowd so that way people see who he is. And 
Finally, I want to share with you Yara Starak. And Yara Starak has been the person behind Entrepreneur's Journey. He's someone that I've been as a has learned off from a great mentor and he's also someone who I have been following as well too. His success in my lifestyle is basically due to him and he's someone who I've been following for quite some time. Also, a fellow also indeed, uh, Yara has also gained success online through blogging by spreading the word out of different modes of communication all in one blog. Now, I want to just share with you what I like about Yara's lifestyle is that he only works two hours a day at most leveraging everything and passively learning and earning from it. So what's Yara's key to living the lifestyle he lives today? The first thing is he's identified and isolated the strengths and then finding a business model that suits him and also using those and leveraging his strengths. He's also creating a balance of creative output, exercise, good social life, new experiences and healthy eating. And also being always after new challenges. What he says here today is what you want today is not what you'll want next year. So enjoying the flexibility to move from one project to the next is important. That's why he spent several years developing a business that functions like a machine and requires little input from himself operating. He also gives him the option to travel, to not work for days at a time, to start new projects, do what he likes as long as it keeps the basics going. So that's Yaros the Rock. All right. Now you might be wondering who's going to be in the last one. This is who will take this last spot and this is where it comes down to you as an audience. So as for the 10th entrepreneur on this list, who do you think should be here? I'm looking for an entrepreneur who has an interesting story and is living the 4-hour work week. So what I'd love you to do is to leave your comments below and to share with me who you think would be the 10th person that should go on to this spot. Share with me, let me know, love to hear about it. All right, just to summarize everything, you can contact all these bloggers as well and also all these entrepreneurs via their blogs. Well, thanks very much for watching this video presentation. I hope that you've enjoyed it and also you've learned something from it as well too. As I said, I'd love to hear your comments below as well from all these and let me know who you think would be the the 10th person that should go onto this list. That's it for me today. My name's Tyrone from tyroneshum.com and I'll see you in the next video.